What's up guys, we're back again today with another great video. And in today's video, we're actually gonna be working on the Highlander again. Um, one of the things that come on the Highlanders that's kind of annoying is that prop rod that goes um, you know, to your hood, keeps the hood up like when you're working under the hood. Um, it's kind of crazy that a car, you know, like this in this price range didn't come with the struts on it from factory. Um, but now we're gonna go ahead and jump into fixing that problem. Um, a great company sent us out some to kind of make a video for you guys on. So let's go ahead and we'll check out what products we're using today and jump into the install. All right, guys, so this is everything that the kit comes with. Um, like I said before, this is going to be one of more like a budget shock system for your Highlander. Um, as you guys can see right here is the brand. It's Kit Ouch, I believe is how you say it. And it's on Amazon. And I will actually pop this up in the video. But this is just what it looks like on my phone. Um, so they're 38 bucks. So you get your shocks right here, your gas shocks. You get your mounts for the bottom. You get some spacers, and then these are also used for the spacers um, if you've got like a larger hole, because this kit, I'm wanting to think that they make like a lot of kits for different cars, and they just kind of have some universal stuff that they put in them is what I would believe. Um, but we'll check it out once we get to the install, and then here is the nuts that go to those. Um, and then this is gonna be the mounts that go to the bottom of the hood um, that allow the shocks to clip into them. So let's go ahead and we will start the install on the car. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna go and go ahead and install the mounts that go on the hood side. Um, you're gonna want these to be facing in towards the hood, not out. Because if you put them out, then it's gonna hit the plastics up front to the cow piece when you shut the hood down. So go ahead and you will on one of them, what's good is, is you can just loosen it because it slides in, as you guys can see. The other one you're gonna have to completely loosen. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll jump into a time lapse. And also these are going to be a 12 millimeter on the hood side. All right, so we got both brackets installed on both sides. One thing you guys might wanna do is, um, I actually took the hood bar down and shut the hood with just these on there to make sure it wasn't hitting anything and to make sure that the hood stayed in adjustment because when you loosen them up, the hood's gonna kinda move a little bit. That's why I kept my hand underneath on both sides on the back, trying to keep it in the same spot until I tighten the bolts back up. Um, so just kind of eyeball like your hood gaps like up here at the headlight and back here That way if it does move a little bit, you can just kind of adjust it But really it didn't move a lot as long as you just keep your hand right there. You should be fine So now let's go ahead and let's put the upper mounts on that are going to go right here And then we will hook the shocks up and see how they work All right guys, so I'm going to show you kind of how we're going to have to set this up um, off camera um one thing I'll actually show you guys right here. Um, so you're supposed to use these spacers, I believe, up top um, in case the hole is bigger. Um, so as you guys can see, this is your mounting uh, bottom ball on the bottom mount side. And you're supposed to use the back holes. Let's see if I can get some light. So right here, and as you guys can see, it falls through. So it's not big enough. So if you go get the rectangle pieces that they're that they provided for you to use let me put one of these on really quick so let's just say it's supposed to go like this because i'm not exactly sure because this is the instructions that were given right here um, and i actually think that that is bubble t's 
Highlander. He is another YouTuber. Um, so now that I've got this on there, I'm kind of going to show you guys what I've went through here to make these work. So as you guys can see, here's our hole again, and it still falls through. I mean, it's almost big enough, but it still falls through. So obviously you guys are probably saying, well, why don't he use the washers? So if we use the washers provided right here, put it on. So now it's gonna work. Okay, the washer is just a tiny bit bigger than the hole itself. So I wish that the washer that they provided was a little bit bigger. So we use the washer here, but they only gave us two of the silver washers. So if you take this nut and put it on the other side of it, as you can imagine, so you take this nut, put it on the other side of it, it's not gonna hold it because then once you pick up on it, the nut's just gonna come out of the hole because as you guys can see, the nut's smaller than the hole. So one good thing that I have, I don't know if on my kit, they meant to send maybe two of these washers and it just got messed up because obviously they sent this out for me to make a video. Um, I didn't buy it directly off Amazon um, like you guys seen on my phone earlier. So one good thing is I had some extra washers in my toolbox that I can use right here. Um, the center hole was actually a little bit bigger, but it's actually gonna work perfect because on these mounts, let me see if I can get this off really quick. On these mounts right here, it's actually perfect because it's already got a washer built into it and it'll slide up and on. And one thing I will tell you guys is I actually did look at Bubble Tees uh highlander when he installed them and the washer that was on his bottom mount was actually a little bit larger it looks like so maybe that's why his worked and this did not so these are actually some of my own washers that i'm going to use um, i actually might get a little bit bigger washers and replace this one too just because it's barely bigger than that hole and i'm going to make sure that they're obviously stainless steel or zinc or i might even paint them black myself um, once I go to the store and get them, but we'll continue with the install with these washers here So I can kind of show you guys how it works and I'm gonna let Alan know um, That's who I talked to that, you know, maybe they could provide different washers or something like that moving forward So hopefully if you guys buy a kit, it'll actually be fixed um, by the time you buy it So let's go ahead and we'll jump into putting it on this side first where we get a little bit of light And then I'll jump over here and put it on so I'll show you guys how it's gonna look before I do it on the car. That way you guys can see a little bit better. So I'm gonna take the washer that I had in my toolbox. I'm gonna put it on the mount like so. I'm gonna take this washer, I'm gonna go underneath, put it here, and then put the 10 millimeter bolt underneath. And then that should make everything mount up nice and tight. So let's go ahead and we'll jump into a time lapse. All right, so we got those installed and tightened up here and here. So now for the last part, and that's putting the shocks on. So now these, you can actually unscrew either end um, just a little bit. You wanna try to keep them as tight as possible, but if you have to unscrew them a little bit to make them line up with the mounting points down here and up there, you can. So let's go ahead and let's pop these on real quick. Also this curved side, that'll be on the bottom and then this straight side will be on the top where the hood mount is. All right, so here is the test. So. So yeah, does what it's supposed to. Let's see what it looks like going up. Let's check this out. So let me unlatch it. 
And now I'm just going to let go of it and see how it goes up by itself. So yeah, works pretty good. Um, I guess my only things would be, obviously, it needs to come with some bigger washers for those holes because the holes that's in the frame of the car um, are pretty pretty big holes. Um, so a little bit bigger washers, I think that would make it better. And one of my other things is the brackets on the side. There's like a little bit of gap, so when you go to shut it, it don't immediately start pushing the shock down because of that gap. So you gotta, gotta push down and then go to the bracket. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about right here. And maybe I could play with the adjustment a little bit to make it a little bit better. But see, I don't even know if you guys can see it good, but right there, right in between the bracket, see how there's that little bit of gap. So like when you push down, it's not immediately pushing the shock down. But for 38 bucks, I think this is a great kit. I mean, you're getting two gas shocks. I mean, heck, one was holding it up by itself. So these should last a long time where they both are kind of helping each other and the hood goes up evenly. Sometimes when you've only got one on one side, it kind of makes the hood go up like sideways. Don't really like that. So it's really nice. It's got two and everything fit really well, went together pretty good, except for that little spacer issue we ran into. Like I said, um, hopefully these instructions will help you guys out because you know they've only got like three pictures that show you you know what's going on um so maybe i was supposed to use those rectangle spacers in a different way or something like that but this is the way that i got it to work for me all right guys so that's pretty much it for today's video um i hope this install will help you guys out like i said before alan at kit ouch uh, I believe is how you say the name. Um, thank you for sending these out to me so I could make a video to help um, some other people that's wanting to get these for their Highlanders. Um, now, they have a couple options. These are the pure black options that he sent me. They also have um, some carbon fiber options like purple, orange, red, silver. So they've got some customization there with them too. Um, I believe the carbon fiber ones are a little bit more expensive. I think they're like 56 bucks where the pure blacks are 38. Um, so as you guys seen, um, we always do a true review here. Um, I hope that Allen and Kit Ouch, they can kind of, you know, adjust their design a little bit and either put bigger washers on the black mounts um, that go on the car or just give you two larger washers, two of those silver washers. Um, and I do think it'll make the kit a lot better. Um, maybe there is an adjustment or something that they could do up top, but that's not a big deal. Um, for a really budget friendly, uh hood shock i think they did a really good job on this so i will leave a link down below to these hood shocks if you guys would like to get them as well and i hope you enjoyed the video please like and share the video so other people can see it and make sure you subscribe to the channel there'll be a lot more stuff coming for the highlander and we're actually going to get back into doing some stuff for the tc as well um, the next big thing we're going to do to the Highlander is upgrade the sound system and maybe even put some Dynomat and stuff in the car. So that'll be a really cool install. So please make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all next time. Peace out and remember, build your masterpiece. Hey, I got something, something to say. I'm just so sick of hearing everyone complain. I know it's tough and I know there's pain.